Well, young people falling into gangs, committing crimes and antisocial behaviour is a persistent problem we just can't seem to solve. Well, the government thinks the solution lies in part with youth clubs, which is why today it's promising almost £7 million for projects across East London. But what difference will that make when over the last five years at least £36 million has been cut from youth services across the capital? Chris Legg reports. At the Skyway Youth Centre, life might be about to become a little bit easier for the staff and volunteers who run activities for 1,000 youngsters in Hackney. Today, central government handed them £407,000 to spend over the next three years from their youth investment fund. £407,000 is an enormous amount of money for us to go, to go over three years. It means that we can make sure that we can sustain what we do and we're unable to build on it and also to help us to be able to support some of the other local organisations. The government has targeted the most deprived areas, which means in the capital, the entire £6.8 million worth of funding is going to youth centres all in East London. Understandably, that's not gone down well here in West London. And this is Hogarth Youth Centre. It's been around for almost half a century. But those who run it say it's on the brink of closure after recent funding cuts. 21-year-old Eddie used to come here as a boy. Now he volunteers as a mentor for others. You see all these, all these crimes committed by young people who don't have no, no role models. This is the place where you can actually look up to people and actually say, hold on, I want to get, I wanna, I wanna do my education. To some, it may appear like a postcode lottery, but the government has defended its funding strategy. Of course, there are other youth um, projects with funding streams attached to them uh, that government is investing in across other parts of the country. But this particular fund is going to focus on East London and there are 20 projects across East London that will benefit. London Assembly member Sean Berry says many youth centres will continue to struggle despite today's announcements. It doesn't really uh, scratch the surface of the level of cuts that we've seen across uh, London in youth services. I found more than 36 million has been taken out of youth services in council services since 2011. This is not replenishing that gap. It is good that the government started to recognise that youth services have value, that young people need investment in, but they need to go a lot further. For some, today's funding boost is far too little too late. Yeah, yeah, For yeah, others, why? any investment in youth is a goal worth applauding. Chris Legg, BBC London News.